Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As usual, we're always connected. I send you love and positive energy and I appreciate all the support of the channel. It's a lot of fun to read like this. If you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. Don't ever try to Make it make sense. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. Could be a love reading. I do a law of attraction tarot card reading. And I do a four-month predictive that I did right before May for the months of May, June, July, and August. So lots of variety. If you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Aries need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Aries? Messages for Aries, please. Okay. As usual, we'll start with the tarot, then we'll have the angel answers. Ace of Pentacles, Magician, Justice. Four of Cups, you got the devil here, the world, the tower, and the King of Swords. Well, I do feel like you have a big change coming. It's like almost very black and white feeling here, Aries. It's, it's very definite. There's not going to be any turning back. There's no second guessing here. With, my gosh, you have five major arcana. Major arcana are major life events. Now, there's something important here with the devil and the tower being so close together because the tower comes right after the devil. The tower serves a purpose, and that is letting go of toxic patterns, cycles, things that do not serve you anymore. You have Libra and Capricorn here. You have water, air, and earth here as well. But my God, is this powerful. I hear it like judgment day or something. It's like this day of reckoning. They keep saying day of reckoning. Um, so with the, with the Ace of Pentacles, you've got a new beginning here. It's a new chapter. Okay. This is significant. When you start to see this together, might as well put the, put these as the two bookends here. Even the tower would be kind of cool. It's like, there's something that ended, but the beginning the what whatever you're moving into is so much better. I, you're not going to look back. That's all I can keep saying about this. So with the Ace of Pentacles, if it was a job that ended, I feel like you're going to, it's going to be a chapter of your life. Hell, you might even write a book about something that happened here was significant. But with this, it's a um, something that runs the distance. So I do feel like in this period too, you may find that you meet people or have friendships that kind of evolve and change. And there's certain people, honestly, I don't think you're going to hang out with anymore. You found new people. You found people that are more interesting. They like to do things. They like to try new things. So with the Ace of Pentacles too, it feels like luck, but it's really you being in alignment. So it's it can be love or money, but it also too, it's really allows for growth in any area. And your physical body is ruled by Pentacles also. So anybody here too that really makes a, ch a change with the devil in the tower, it's letting go of something that's not good for you. So if it's drinking, if it's eating too much processed foods, um, you know, I feel like some of you are getting little aches and pains and it's all related to diet and just things that, again, are almost like eating plastic. You know, when you do that and you go, oh my God, what is all this stuff? So with the magician, talk about the greatest transformer of the deck. So above, so below, it really does just mean that you and the universe mirror each other. You get what you are. And with the magician, anything that you're trying to do here, I do feel like for some of you with the justice card too, if it was a divorce or some kind of a legal situation, the magician is law of attraction energy. So it brings in your desires. And the magician won't be fooled. I want to tell you too, with justice being here, anything that anybody that's related to the devil or tower energy, if they were dishonest with you, you are going to see right through this. Again, I do feel like you're going to be streamlining your social circles in terms of a relationship too. You're going to attract an exact match with this. It really is about being serious about a relationship. You have a leadership quality though with this overall. 
So any kind of, you know, teaching or anything that you would do where you're instructing, teaching, even doing some kind of a course, it really is your you and your own element and your uh, facility for that, a real strength for this. It's energy that dominates. So with the magician energy too, it's not stage magic. For some of you, it may be related to mysticism or metaphysical energies, really starting to understand. I hear the seven stages of alchemy. Some of you really going kind of on a deep dive spiritually um, because it's magic with a K. And then when the deck was made, that really had more to do with science. Okay, it's not creating illusions. It's really seeing things clearly. So speaking of which, with the justice card, if it's not a legal situation, I do feel like you're going to be very clear with your boundaries. You're going to put your foot down where it needs to, and you won't waver. Okay, it's where the devil doesn't have any boundaries and is very codependent. This is having good boundaries. It's also the absolute truth. This is a card that it's going to bring in balance. So like we talked about with the universe, you get what you are. Or in general, when we were talking earlier, this is a, the time in your life where, again, I feel like you have a relationship that comes in that you really do connect very strongly. And you have somebody here. They may be an attorney or something to do with the legal field if it wasn't a legal situation for you. But with this too, I do feel like they also are very clear about what kind of a relationship they want in a job as well. I Again, I can't say this enough. Everything's laid out very clearly, so there is no confusion or second guessing. So with the justice card, it definitely is a time where you're going to move forward with things, take action, and you're going to see it come to fruition. So the four of cups here it in some ways is related to justice. You have the the balance, wanting a balanced love relationship. Like I said, you have reciprocity here. You have somebody here who comes in, especially if you had an ending like a divorce or an ending and it just seemed like, is this really done? I feel like you have somebody new who comes in and you may say, you know, maybe a bit of a vetting process on your behalf where you say, look, there's certain things I'm looking for and if this isn't part of it, I'm not going to get involved, but I do feel like they're the complete package and they're going to be serious about this and they're going to want to invest in a relationship with you. Well, with the devil energy, this is definitely breaking free of something toxic. So again, some of you, it may be more to do with the body. This can be a card too of that substance abuse, addiction, alcoholism. It definitely is a card of not living up to the fullest potential as well. And so with that upside down staff, it illuminates nothing. But the the darkness in the card too in, suggests that there's a shadow aspect of your personality that you are coming into understanding, which is very important because you understand your entirety. So you really too, I feel like in a relationship, you'll be very straightforward with the person about your own hangups and things and you're not shy about it, but they can handle it. Whoever this is, I almost get temperance for them which is actually the card that comes right before this. Maybe it's a Sagittarius. But I feel like they've got the easygoing energy where they're not trying to change you anyway, which wouldn't be, I wouldn't try that with you anyway. You're not, you you know who you are. You don't need somebody else coming in trying to manipulate you. So with the world being here, this is an absolute card of success. It's getting it. You know, with all these major arcana, these are life events that your soul needs to experience in order to ascend and evolve. So those of you that are into alchemy will really get this. I mean, when you start with the magician, you figure out that you can make things with your mind. You get to justice and you start to learn about the equilibrium of the universe. When you happen across the devil, you find out about restrictions, limitations. When you go to the tower, you understand the idea of releasing that paradox. We must you know, what, what we let go, we let go to receive. And then of course, with the world, this is absolute achievement. So I do feel like with a relationship here too, you've been through a lot, but it's like, it's finally here, something that's mature. And it really does feel like it's meant to be. Um, in terms of work and life, you may find that you're going to have some opportunities to travel coming up. You're going to have the money to get it too. I feel like anything that you had to let go of, You've got more money coming in and higher levels of stability anyway. And so with the world, you're going to feel great. It really is living a life without limits, having your life expand and feeling truly on top of the world. So the tower we've dabbled in a little bit, again, with the shadow aspects here, it must be important for one of you at least. 
But you see all these little flames, so those are the yods or yods of the tarot, either pronunciation acceptable. I love it when people correct me on stuff like that. I think, oh God, are they running on ego? Because they're actually not even right and they're correcting me. That's that's quite something. But anyway, I do get a few of those from time to time. Um, it's telling you that this is all being divinely guided. So if something ended, again, in tarot, it's always about a new beginning. We don't want to stay down. We want to move forward. Now I can tell you too, in some of the greatest what I thought were the greatest defeats became my greatest victories. So keep going because this is always to bring in something better. If it was a relationship that ended, you definitely have something that's built on trust and integrity and a real mutual understanding of who you are as individuals. There's a lot of what feels like autonomy. So if you had had some very jealous relationships, I don't see that as returning. It's definitely an end to that and that new beginning. Now, again, with the King of Swords here, this is also a card of legal matters. So anybody that's been asking, you know, especially if it's a money issue, you have great aspects here indicating them if you've been waiting on a settlement or something like that, the upright swords are very positive. It's like, here it is. They're finally releasing this money, especially too. I get somebody that there was some kind of insurance claim. Seems like it was on a house though, that the insurance claim comes in for, you know, at least one of you. So with the King of Swords, it's um, we know it's about communication too. So the the communication and relationship is very upfront. But again, I also feel like somebody here gets a delivery, a financial delivery based on that. All right, let's see what the angels have to say here. For Aries, please. Messages, please, for Aries. Advice for Aries. Recovery, okay? Makes a lot of sense with the tower and the devil here. It's all about releasing and awakening you to that radical new life. The end of delusion is here repeatedly. I might have to call this reading the end of delusion. Compromise, okay? So... For some of you in a new relationship, like I said, there's a lot of autonomy, but there might be something about that where you really understand the value of compromise in relationships. They say, ask your angels within the next few months here. And you've got a yes, okay? Good things are on the way for you, Aries. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.